All the parts and pieces, torsion bars, leaf springs, all the goodies going into this 86 pickup. All right, so yesterday we handled the wheels. Today we're gonna tackle the suspension. Now, I'm not going to document the entire process of how to put this lift kit on this 86 Toyota pickup four wheel drive. Instead, I'm gonna set up a time lapse because I figure if you're taking upon yourself the installation of this kit, you probably have the aptitude to figure out there's just a few bolts you got to take out and this and that and the other so but a quick overview is the torsion bars are going to slide out you just take that boot off they're going to slide out of that arrangement you got to adjust these bolts up in here and uh, let's see this bolt comes out is that darby i'm talking to my camera <laughs> Shocks off. And then, uh, yeah, you got your view bolts, your shackles, and that's the gist of it. So, what I am going to do is see how quickly I can get this done. So, let's see. biggest reason for why we absolutely had to replace this suspension. So.
All right, dudes. Well, I can tell you right off the bat, this thing sits way higher than I thought it would. So that's a good thing. I dig it. We got the rear end done. I'm gonna move on to the front end, but there you go. Still gotta put the zerts in, but you get it. Graceable shackles, nice new shocks, all new springs. Looks freaking sweet. And holy shit, dude, honestly, I think this thing went up 10 inches or more. It is freaking huge. Way huger than I thought it would be. So I don't know how these torsion bars are going to do. Because I'm not replacing I'm not replacing any of the control arms. Or the spindle. Or the ball joints or anything like that. Any drop kits or anything. All this does is crank up the A-arms. So we shall see. We shall see. Let's give it a shot. Whew, okay, after an agonizing all-out battle with these tension, these torsion bar tension bolts, it looks like I'm finally going to make progress again. I've been battling this thing for a good hour. <laughs> Let me show it to you. I had gotten under here with that PB blaster and prepped and treated everything, but I neglected. I did not realize that that big, long son of a bitch goes from that bolt head all the way up there, and I didn't. I didn't pre-lube it. I really think that if I had, I'd have been in way better shape. But uh, now that we're making progress on that, there's hope. So I've gotten absolutely filthy, absolutely filthy crawling around on this drop, this floor. And so hopefully we can get back at it, make some more progress, and maybe even finish this up before my work shift. Okay, how many of you guys follow Richard Giordiano, Desk to Glory? He's got an excellent web page dedicated to the lift of his truck. It's a newer truck than this, but he warns that uh, this bolt is prone to cracking, breaking, stripping, uh, whatever, breaking during this procedure. So he suggests maybe having a couple extras on hand and maybe keeping one in your truck for the long haul. But let me just tell you guys a little something here. You see this? Yeah, that's right. There's a freaking jam nut, which makes sense, right? You get this one adjusted and then you jam it down. Well, nobody ever freaking told me that and I don't have the factory service manual. So this entire time I've been sitting here fighting with it. If I had just known to loosen that jam nut on the top, oh my God. Okay, well, pro tip, <sighs> unbelievable. Right, here we go. It looks like it's going to be pretty easy to pop it right out of the pop it right out of here without having to two, take those two bolts off. That's what I'm hoping to do.
Ooh. All right, you guys, there she is in all her glory, looking pretty badass. The rear is so much higher than I thought it would be. Uh, the front's it's still got a, quite a bit of rake. I'll see what I can do. I've got a lot of adjusting to do for the fronts, but I cranked them up pretty high. You can see it's got a pretty big rake. So I don't know if these rear springs will settle down some more. I'm gonna load a bunch of gear into the back and take it uh, 180 miles home. And I don't know, I don't know how long it'll take those to kind of settle down, but it's definitely sloped. So anyways, that was a freaking marathon, dude. It took me, let's see what time it is. It took maybe a 45 minute lunch. So seven, it took me about six hours. Took me about six freaking hours to do this, you guys. Pain in the balls. Oh yeah, I ran into a couple problems, but no big deal. Uh, maybe, maybe added an extra hour. Okay, I'll talk to you about the pointers and the, the tips and this and that later. But for now, I'm gonna go take a shower, get my buddy to move his car. And we're gonna roll out and go give it a sh go give it a try. Check it out. This sucker's high. This thing comes up to my chest now, dude. Miss Amy, the wife, is not gonna be happy. Here it is, what a total badass little unit, dude. Things a freaking brute, man. The rear is way too high. I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but it's an entirely different truck now. For sure. Dang man. Thing is fun. All right, out here in the Badlands, just outside of Bernal and uh, Ballard. And here she is, guys. Looks like a whole different truck, huh? Looks freaking good for an old beater. Pretty much night and day difference. Uh, I don't just don't have time today. Otherwise, I'd go for a little wheeling adventure, but <clears throat> just wanted to get out real quick, a couple miles from the house, and um, just final finalize this video, I guess. So, have you guys ever had a frazzle? It's kind of like a Slurpee, but but better. Nothing against Slurpees, I like those too. But anyway, I'll try to give a recap on tomorrow's video. I'll try to, we'll go kind of test out his performance and I'll just do a uh, drive through some thoughts and whatnot on how she does and what the lift installation process was like, etc., etc. yada, yada, yada. But anyway, super stoked, super freaking stoked. Junior's gonna have a fun little rig to romp around in now. A hell of a lot better than that sorry ass, super tired, worn out suspension, huh? You bet. Major upgrades and improvements. <laughs> Kicks ass. All right, that's a wrap. See you on the next one.